This is a rather strange program I wrote a very long time ago. It takes the numeric value of something and converts it into the word value of it. So like 123, it'll print it out in English text. And it's, uh, I won't go into all the detail. You can see the code here, but uh, it's, I've got the an array of numbers. I got an array of the higher level things: 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then the thousand, million, billion, so on, trillion. Some variables. Let's go down. And this is a lot trickier than I originally thought it might be. But I wrote this to print checks originally. That's that was what I was doing. Like I said, it's a long time ago. I'm uh, struggling to remember. So we're going to go down here, we're going to take the numeric input, we're going to take the character value of the numeric input, uh, we're going to check to see if the number is too big because the program has a limit of something like several quintillion. If it's too big we're going to jump out of the loop, uh, we're going to split the string uh, to into different pieces so that we can uh, examine each of the numbers individually. Uh, down here, we're going to look at a fraction as uh, as a number, and then fraction as a character. Go down some more. Here, we're looking at the fractional part of it. So, if it's like thirty cents or something, point three zero. It's this is the code to handle that part. Uh, this is the integer part as a number and as a character, so we're going to handle it two ways, both as a number and a character. I found some oddities with Python, which is why I did this. Uh, I originally wrote this in, I think it was basic, uh, and when I got to Python it didn't didn't convert nicely, so I had to do some things with, uh, with the difference between number and characters, the way it's handled. Uh, so this is the length of the left side of the number to the left of the decimal. Uh, I grab it in sets of threes because English, you know, Arabic numbers are in sets of threes typically. Uh, look at the remainders, so these are any kind of odd numbers that are left over. So if it's like two digits or whatever left over, handle that. Uh, and this is one more loop to handle those. This is the thousands, millions, billions counter. Come down here to the main part of the program and so we're just going to again grab groups of threes. Uh, if the hundreds is zeros, skip it. Uh, there's no output if that's true. Otherwise we're going to do this. We're going to start appending uh, the hundred part onto the number. Here we get the tens and ones digits. So this works, this loop works whether it's 123 or 123 million or 123 billion. That's what this part is doing is that those three digits. And looking uh, at the last part of it, and then here we're going to add the thousand million billions to the output and then we're going to decrement thousand million billion as we move across the number. And then we print it out and we exit. So. Again, like I said, not a lot of detail, but to give you some idea about what's going on, let's run it. Um, I don't know, we can... Let's see, point 0.12. So, 123,456,789 dollars and 12 cents, and that should be correct if we look at that. Okay, well that was it. Just kind of a squirrely little bit of code in Python I thought you might be interested in. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your Python coding.